Today, the Biden-Harris campaign released a new campaign memo saying that it sees the state of Florida now as winnable after today's Florida Supreme Court ruling allowing Republican Governor Ron DeSantis' ban on abortion to go into effect next month. As we just mentioned, Florida's Supreme Court also ruled that voters in Florida will be able to vote on an amendment in November that would guarantee abortion protections in the Florida state constitution. In other states, other Republicans running for election this year are showing a new vulnerability because of the Republican Party's attacks on reproductive rights. A recent poll from the University of Texas found incumbent Republican Senator Cruz is tied, tied at 41 percent against his Democratic challenger, Texas Congressman Colin Allred. 52 percent of Texas independents have an unfavorable view of Senator Cruz compared to just 17 percent for Congressman Allred. As the U.S. Supreme Court considers restricting the abortion pill, the Texas Democratic Party released a statement reminding Texas voters that Senator Cruz is leading the charge to ban of the abortion medication and that Senator Cruz supports outlawing abortion with absolutely no exceptions. Joining us now is Texas Democratic Congressman Colin Allred. He's the Democratic nominee for Senate in Texas, and you are tied at 41 uh, percent. I mean, getting to a tie at any point in this race against a Republican in Texas is impressive. You're at a tie with enough time yeah. to move that number up. Yeah. Well, you know, we know that this has always been uh, something where in Texas, our task is to get more of our fellow Texans out to vote. But what we're seeing also is that Texans know who Ted Cruz is. Mm -hmm. We know what he wants to do. We know what he hasn't done for us over the 12 years that he's been misrepresenting us in the United States Senate. And we're ready to move on. And so now my job is to make sure Texans know who I am. Because we, we do have an uphill climb in Texas at, at times, but I'm used to that. I was born and raised in Dallas by a single mom, was a public school teacher, I made it to Baylor, to the NFL, became a civil rights lawyer, be a 22-year incumbent Republican congressman just to get into the Senate, or just to get into, into Congress. Uh, and now we have a chance to take out one of the worst senators in the country. I know we're going to do it. So uh, the, the, move, the, the polling on independence in Texas seems to be the spot where if there's a victory for you, that's where it's going to be, because they are heavily against uh Senator Cruz now, their unfavorability of him is astronomical. And yours at 17 percent, the audience should just know. No one gets a zero. You, you, you usually, just by seeing the word Democrat or Republican, you get some unfavorable, you know, besides someone's name. But 17 percent is about as low as it gets. Yeah. Well, you know, I think Texas has a long tradition of independent leaders uh, who put Texas first uh, and are, have national, you know, national profiles, but are always Texans uh, first and foremost. Mm -hmm. We've gotten away from that uh, in recent years with these followers like Ted Cruz, who follow whatever they're told to do, even if you, you know, talk about his family and call him everything but you know, a child of God. Uh, and that's not who we are as Texans. We're, I think we need to get back to that. But I think you're right when you talk about there are folks out there who are wondering, you know, where are we going to land? Which way which should we go? Because you know, I might have been voting for Republicans in the past, but I don't see myself in this version of the Republican Party. And those folks voted for me. Uh, that's how I got uh, into Congress, representing a you know, part of Dallas that was traditionally Republican. Uh, and I've tried to serve in a way that shows that we can bring folks together. That yes, there are some important fights. You mentioned you know, abortion access and, and access for women to make their own health care decisions. These are important fights that we do have to have. But not everything has to be a fight. Mm -hmm. For example, when 30 million Texans are freezing in the dark, that's also not a good time to go on vacation. Mm -hmm. uh, and then to, you know, when you come back, uh, make jokes about it. Texans don't accept that. And so that's what I think you're seeing showing up in these numbers. Our task over the next few months, of course, is to make sure the Texans and Americans know that we can get rid of Ted Cruz here. We can put someone in the United States Senate who cares about all 30 million Texans, not someone who just cares about himself. When I was in the, in the NFL, we had guys we called me guys who were only looking out for themselves. Ted Cruz is the ultimate me guy. I'll make sure I'm looking out for all of us. And Texas has already delivered because of the restrictive abortion laws there some of the most tragic and difficult cases we've heard of women being put through horrible ordeals because of Texas Republican yeah. governing choices, which Ted Cruz supports completely, uh, including his belief that there should be absolutely no exceptions to any 
ban on abortion, no exceptions for rape, no exceptions for incest. Yeah. Well, you know, I really feel for what's happening in Florida, as much as I'm excited about them having this on the ballot. What they're going to experience is what we've been experiencing in Texas, which is what a near total ban on abortion looks like. And what it looks like uh, is 26,000 women in Texas who've given birth to their rapist child. Uh, what it looks like is a mother of two like Kate Cox or Dr. Austin Denard, who was my uh, guest at the State of the Union, who uh, wanted to have a much wanted third pregnancy, who got the news that we all hope we don't get, uh, that the pregnancy wasn't viable. And in Kate Cox's case, she had to go to the emergency room four times. Her doctor said she needed a medically necessary abortion. And her state said no. In fact, they didn't just say no. They said, if you do this, we're going to prosecute you, your doctor, your hospital. We have counties saying you can't drive through the county if you're going to use the roads to access an abortion. I mean, how are they going to enforce that, uh, Lawrence? What are we going to do? We start pulling you know, women in Texas over and asking them, what's the nature of your travel, ma'am? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not freedom. And I'm a fourth generation Texan. And there's one thing I know about us, it's that we believe in freedom. And so for folks out there, they should know, the only way in Texas we're going to restore this right is at the federal level by beating Ted Cruz. When I'm in the United States Senate, we will codify Roe v. Wade. We'll go back to the standard we had for the last 50 years. Go to callonallred.com and help us do that. Hey everyone, MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.